the fan, that's what they call me. Hey guys! <laughs> Are you nervous enough? Welcome back to my channel, sunny side of Florida. Currently, probably about 70 something degrees. Beautiful mornings we're having right now. Going to warm up till they said 90. But today's big day is Michaela's getting her first COVID 19 swabby dob up the nostril. She's nervous. I'm nervous. I've never had to pick my whole finger all off. <laughs> she has. She's, she's super nervous. It's just expensive because. It's I was, 150 bucks. I could have went to CVS and done it for free with their insurance. But it says, like, as a disclaimer, don't be, like, it might not come in time for travel. Like, it's just because it's not a rapid test, so it could take up forever how long we're time they have to, to like, to get around my stuff. So then I was like, well, I'm finally going to need a rapid test because I leave soon. So I was like, I just had to pay the $150. Yeah, so she could have done it free. But she has chosen her panic moments <laughs> to have it back. That she's gonna pay $150 to let somebody torture her. Maybe it would have been nice if you got it done like Monday and then. But you like, can. But if you got your test back, your test results back within the, like went like today, then it might have been okay. I don't know that it worked that way. They would have counted probably the three days for fly out that I got what day it was stamped. And today or Monday's date would have been stamped on it. I don't mm -hmm. know if the result date of like coming back today would have been stamped. Who knows? Yeah. Dad said that he's done them before. I don't know for work or something when he was going in for physical therapy, he was having to do it. But us girls, Christian, none of us have done it. Michaela is going to be able to tell us in this vlog how it is. <laughs> we were sitting here joking as I turned the camera on. I was like, I'm just going to take my camera in and film. And she's like, that's so weird. I don't like it when you take it. I'm already nervous in. enough. And here she is just going to whip this massive camera out and film me. I'm like, just take it on your phone, please. She saw one little clip. She's gonna have fit camera quality, phone quality. <laughs> Michelle don't care, guys. I uh, care. I know. So, but Michaela cares. So I always try to be sensitive to the people that are around me. So, I may go to phone quality. May get a little fuzzy. That's why, because my daughter has insisted I can't go in like Channel Nine News <laughs> and whip out a camera. Everyone <laughs> stares. Like it's weird. Like everyone's literally staring. Like why is she carrying a camera around? No, they automatically know you're a YouTuber. Then they're trying to figure out if they know you. No. You said we can't sh you can't show our secrets. <laughs> Maybe I'm an undercover nurse out to expose you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna head to urgent care. We've already dropped Caroline off. Christian's at school. We're excited too because we're gonna go to Orlando mm -hmm. in the next couple of days. Mama Bear has treated um, the kiddos with a nice resort and I was like, oh, I'm feeling fancy this week. I'll pay for all this and we'll just go have some fun. I need something to keep my mind off my daughter getting on a flight for 4,000 miles across the pond during a pandemic. Whew. I'm just going to need something to take my mind off of it. I was going to go relax by the pool and we're going to chill while Michaela's up in the air flying, eating nasty plain food. That's not even going to be gluten free. He can't get his... No, he did it. But then the, um, the airport came back and was like, oh, we're not selling specialty food right now because of COVID-19. So specialty? Or like gluten-free food and stuff. So he's like, it's not even a guarantee it's even going to be gluten-free. How hard is it to make it gluten-free? He clicked it and everything. He did it for me. I was like, oh, we need to put my um, food. And he was like, I already did that for you. I was like, oh, thank you. And then he and then he was like, I need to check and see if they got it approved. So then he checked to see if they got it approved. And they're like, no, like because of COVID-19 right now, like we're not selling or doing specialty food like gluten-free and stuff like that so who knows that's like telling somebody with a peanut allergy i'm sorry because it's a pandemic you're gonna have to eat peanuts <laughs> all right guys y'all know michelle's sense of humor we won't get into those those things that's what the airline said i mean that's why they're no longer doing direct flights because of covid <laughs> covid is is the the gateway to a lot of new things in this and world it's funny because my boss was like because we were talking about me leaving and about all like what i'm having to do and stuff and um she was like i can't believe all that stuff's happening they're like no one here in florida believes in that stuff <laughs> i know caroline's getting slammed in a lot of videos and i have I'm getting slammed too. At one time, I had even thought about just not showing you guys our journey because, you know, political stuff, I keep out of that. I don't share that with you guys because it brings a lot of emotions. And people are like, I don't understand why Americans don't, you know, just unreveal their political views or this and that and talk openly. Like the little bit or the little clip I gave and made a joke about our current president, one political thing I did started a war on my page. A war that I had an agenda and I was this and that. And yeah, guys, I ain't got time for that. Like, and you're not going to change my view on things because trust me for one i'm a nurse 
six years of schooling to learn all this. I researched. Michelle's number one question her professors hated her for was, why? If you're not asking why in life, I don't know. I don't know why you're not. So if you tell me something, my husband, it drives him nuts too. Like why? And I promise you when you tell me something, I'm going to research. I'm going to dig. I'm going to go back through medical books. I'm going to find out the why. So you, whoever, and I may disagree. And there's no point in starting tension there. And so it's just our happy moments. It's just our vlog moments. And we'll keep that off camera. Take a breath. She's gonna be so nervous. In I am gonna be so. I'm a little bit nervous now. I haven't broke the sweat yet, but I already got my poopies out. <laughs> oh my god, nobody wants to know that! <laughs> and I've picked off my fingernails, so we're good to go now. Okay, it isn't mandated here in Florida. It's not house. mandated here. And come July the 1st, like, it's no business, no travel agency, no nothing can require anything of you. So. Guys, get ready for these vlogs. Florida is going to be punished for that. Just just wait and see. I mean, our COVID numbers are going to skyrocket. You know, that media's got to tell you because Florida down there doing things differently. Ah! Here we go, guys. Here we go. All right, you ready? Yes. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. I'm going to go on both nostrils. There's one. And there's two. That's it. That wasn't even that bad. <laughs> As you back cry. But the smell <laughs> is what's like there's some there's some type there's of a, smell there on it. There is, there is for sure. And yeah, let me see your tissue here. <laughs> you okay? It, it was it wasn't that bad, honestly. Like I was thinking way worse, to be honest. But yeah. I was not thinking there was gonna be a smell on it or something. <laughs> it, it does have a chemical on here, so Alright, so it's gonna take at least thirty minutes, okay? Okay. So we got it done. Oh gosh, the aftermath is what I don't think now it's like what's bad. It's like stinging. It's just like because I think the chemical and whatever was on that is like irritating my nose. I don't think that was as bad as you thought it was going to be. Like, I don't think they went as far as what they were showing, showing. at first. No, I felt it tickle was... my nose, but I think that's what I'm saying. I think the chemical more or less is what's aggravating and making my nose hurt more than the cute of getting stubbed up my nose. Right. I think the chemicals are re reacting to like my nose inside. You just need to blow it really good. So we are going to head and she wants to link her passport with it just so it gives her less issues. Of course, they're going to print off a hard copy that she can have, but they like for your passport, especially if you're traveling like overseas, to be linked up to this test result. So we're going to do that. So we're going to run home it's right like quick. It's 30 minutes to wait. You're right. We've got 30 minutes to wait. So we're going to run home right quick, get her passport number. I was like, girl, I'm good, but I'm not that good that I remember your passport number. You can take an exhale. It is done. Now she's gonna be so nervous. Do you think it's positive? Yeah. Do you think it's like negative? Now, like Do you think it's positive? Yeah, like I think that's what more what I was more nervous about. Like the, it was more. I wasn't really nervous about the thing. It's like I know it's more the results that I'm nervous about. All right, guys. So we got her passport, and we're just waiting. Nervous, nervous. Drum roll. I'm so nervous right now. Like I have to pee. Okay. Huh? I have to pee. <laughs> we just were at home. I know, I know. Are you ready? Yes, I'm so, I'm so nervous. My heart is beating so fast right now. We just got my results. I don't know what they are, but my heart is beating so fast. The moment of truth. Freaking out a little bit. Should we do a drum roll? <sighs> like, literally, my heart is beating so fast. Your results are... Negative. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Guys, I don't have COVID. Ah! COVID-19 results is negative. You're normal. So, but then it says ICU, no. First test, yes. Um, influenza, negative. Influenza B, negative. You don't have influenza, it says. <laughs> Good, I knew it wasn't sick. And she's excited. Okay. Does that make you feel yes, so yes, yes. much better? Yes. I'm so glad. <sighs> Whew, I can breathe now. Whew. Take a breath. Okay, you gotta put this with your passport, okay? Oh, well, I have my other one. Okay. So we're not gonna jump too far down this rabbit hole in this video. I didn't even wanna sit here and read this, but she's determined. I just wanna hand it to her and be like, okay, bye, I love you. At the bottom, it plainly says this test is FDA approved to find out if you have influenza A and influenza B. It literally says it at the bottom that they're testing you for flu. flu. Like they're not even covering it up. There you go. I'm done. Oh, can we take a <laughs> Yes. 
<laughs> all right let's take a thumbnail sweetie we gotta get back out of the car all right guys so i think i'm gonna end this vlog here um we've just talked a lot and a lot has already happened before 10 o'clock this morning so this vlog is just gonna be about her covid testing i'm glad i will pray for michaela's protection to cross the pond for all things um to be protected from and i know she's gonna have a lovely trip so she is on her way getting set that this is going to happen oh, no. hopefully you guys don't uh, disagree with me too much on my opinions at the beginning you know michelle doesn't always share them too much you just a thousand percent know i'm a follower of jesus christ but the rest i don't always share but i decided to share a little bit with you hopefully you don't unfollow me i don't know if you do just keep blessing the world with smiles and love i'm gonna say goodbye at this part hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next bye